After failing utterly to protect the dwarf Sank Asha crystal from Galbez, Giotto requested that Dude and company have a crystal in his favorite crab. They agreed to try, so Giotto promised to arrange a transit soon as he could return from wishing to do so. Instead of waiting for that, Dude decided to walk to where they'd conduct an examination of the last day's crystals as the adventure continues. Onward to the boobies! Oh no, pads. Oh no. What's up? Pretty much, I don't think either one of them really go anywhere. This is why green was on! Oh no, pads. Oh no, more paths. Three of them. Oh no, monsters. Oh no, I'm not fighting White these things. White but you had opportunity of teacher. Enough, I don't fight slimes in this game. <laughs> you got ambushed in front of a chess. Uh -oh, oh no, you have too I'm many. paying the price for not fighting. Eyes. Um, not the medical plural. examination. I'm just sitting here looking at this thing. It's like medical examination. Medical examination. <laughs> like doing the robot voice. Impotence. It's pissed for me hitting it. Beam. That was a good beam. That what? I'm not um, using lightning I, on I, him anymore. <laughs> I appreciate the idea of trying to overload its circuits, but this is Final Fantasy IV we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah, it should make sense. That worked. That was a lot of damage. That was that also was a lot, a lot of, of damage. damage. Fuffway's got the golems. Oh, I got a forehead. Forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From dwarf head to oh, forehead. Definitely, it's definitely a good item to get, so it means it must be better, right? Yes. Ugh. Oh no, another ambush. Oh no, it's this another thing again. Eyes. It's a chimera. That was convenient that it actually worked. <laughs> Yay. I like when stuff like that works. I received a dumpling. You received a dumpling. You have not hewn. I still don't know what that means. I think one of them is poison. Ice brand. That's actually more translated than it originally was. Getting a lot of icy weapons. Yeah. It's almost like it's trying to tell me something. That is why Cat was on. We opened up a chest and got a kitty cat. Jealous clippers. Getting sopped over to Cat. Jealous cat. Uh, I would put back on clippers and then see if it uh, changes. Oops. I really wish I knew which was which. I think clippers was poison. You could put on cat clippers and have them scratch you repeatedly while you sit there and trim their nails. That's a lot of damage. It's almost like they gave us that sword for a reason. Hi, potion. It was covered in dullness? Okay. Good thing petrification sucks in this game. Unless they do it again. Yeah, but it still sucks because it just takes forever to do anything. And then it goes boop, boop. <laughs> Gone. Right. <laughs> right after the battle, just boop. Oh no, they stopped fighting. Better get unpetrified now. Oh no! Bridie is fully healed. She's almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, uh... I'm just imagining the- you're going back down. Yeah. I'm just imagining how the depetrification process works, is they just take a hammer and chisel, just go up to them, put the chisel down, and go... Doo! Then it's just like... Poosh! It just all disappears right after the battle. It makes me think of the Pokemon anime. Oops, I attacked the wrong guy with her. And that's like, cause, uh... One of the most weird, like, off-putting things to me about the that anime that they've done before is uh because it makes sense that a pokemon might not be hurt by something like poison or burn when they're returned back to their pokeball because of technology or whatever but then ash will be in a battle pikachu will get poisoned he'll call pikachu back to his side and suddenly pikachu's not being hurt by the poison anymore <laughs> you missed the chess 
I saw it, but I wanted to see what was in door. Might have been a small door. Oh no, another door! Ooh. Aww. <laughs> you saw that was a bow, you're like, aww. I think that's a really good bow, though. I remembered it being a bow, but I was hoping it wasn't. Ooh, Japanese. But Japanese is off right now. That's why we can sort of read what's going on. We can read what's going on. It's just a matter of comprehending what's going on. At least they go down easy with these ice weapons, which is convenient. Yeah, that they just conveniently gave us. They just happened to be in the exact place you needed them in the exact right time. I think that's honestly probably an oversight on the developer's part. It's like, we need to give them something here to actually help them out. Like, maybe they thought this place is too hard, so they're like, let's just put in ice weapons. Ice weapons, you say? Where shall we put them? Just put doors that lead to nowhere, but we gotta make them earn the weapons. By fighting very easy battles. <laughs> By fighting very easy battles. <laughs> I feel like in a newer game, these are like things that you would find near the end of the dungeon for the boss. Or at least midway through the dungeon so you can see the differences. So you like have the trials and tribulations of actually going through the dungeon a little bit first. Then you get the weapon and all the enemies are weak to it. So you're like, oh, this will probably also be useful against the boss. Yeah, so you can sit there and actually like leave the dungeon and be like, okay, I can actually do stuff now. So I can leave the dungeon, heal all that, and then come back. Yay, bio. Then I never used any other spells with her again. Except for summons. Conveniently, you can save a couple of tents and cottages here. Also, I don't really use summons with her because they take forever to charge. Mr. Lee. Mr. Leg. I mean, I've literally gone through the entire game before from this point, never casting any other magic with her other than bio. I can't recall, but I think there's an augment. Oh, okay. We might want to have waited until that hatched <laughs> so we can actually get a uh, better stuff. Well, I didn't expect to kill it. They're usually better at surviving than that. Hmm, a flame knight. I wonder what he's weak to. Also, the chimera is not weak to ice. <laughs> I was about to say fire for a second. It's almost like he's here for a reason, but he's the only enemy who serves that reason. It's to make it so you have to use your other people in order to get rid of them. All right, let's see what's in this treasure. Oh no, another uh -oh. thing. Oh, hey, look, a flame dog. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? I really feel like that it should be the opposite way around. Like it should be water being the weakness here, but oh, convenient. Once Ima gets a thousand HP, I'll be happy because then some of these things here would be easier to deal with. But we got a ways length on that. There it is. When I see the word eyes here, the only thing I'm thinking now is, yes. <laughs> it's not the word eyes, it's just, yes. For some reason, when you were saying <laughs> say something about what eyes make you think of, I start thinking about eyes. And for some reason, what came to my mind was the PS1 game, Eternal Eyes. You were about to say what came to your eyes instead of your mind. <laughs> I heard you about to let you stop there for a split second. Yay. It's like, yay, a new armor for Cecil. Damn it, I already bought the thing for K. How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake room. If this was FF2, I would have started in the middle of the room and then got in a battle. Yep. And all these doors would have done that. Yes. <laughs> yes, they would have. Because dungeon design. There's some things I like about Final Fantasy 2, but most things about it I don't like. I like how everyone's kind of a clean slate in that game. Because yes, the job classes are like neat and things like that, like how 3 did it. But I like that everybody is pretty much jobless and you can dictate how you want them to be. I mean, obviously there's some characters that are clearly better for other things, but... That's why they always give you some st stupidly strong, better character, and then they die. And then you get another one. And then they die. And then you beat the game. Yep. You have at least four people that die before you actually beat the game, though. Kane and Ima have the same exact HP. I like how uh, 
Fovwai, Aima, and Quamp all gang up on one enemy and can't kill it, but both uh, Kane and Dude can kill that same enemy themselves in one hit. Yeah, I love that chest that's gonna take so long to get to. They had to make it as long as possible, just so you would fight more of these assholes. Now, if this was Final Fantasy 1, I, I would have gotten into like maybe two or three battles before you even got up to that bridge. Especially if you were recording. Yeah. And all of them would have been cut. Yeah, there's a reason why I've done that, because my LP would have been twice as long had I not. I at least showed off every enemy at least once that I found, because not doing that, oh boy. And some of those battles sometimes lasted a little bit longer than I wanted them to. Old games can sometimes do that. But I still had the nobody actually was dead at the end of a battle thing throughout the entire series, so that was nice. Yeah, that's important. You need to keep that experience even. It's funny though, thinking about that and then looking at like the later Final Fantasies and how I don't care if that happens. It's like, oh, if somebody dies, I will try to get them revived, but if they don't get revived at the end of the battle, I'm just like, eh. That's because they don't all have the same experience points. I know. In FF1, when somebody dies, it's the worst thing in the world. It's like a run ender because your experience points are no longer even. I know, it's annoying. I mean, I can't tell you how much time I've spent before as a kid resetting against Astos until Rub doesn't kill me. Yeah, I got lucky on that. It also helps that that version also added like Phoenix Downs and actually being able to revive in battle. <laughs> I was literally just about to say that. Guess what feature I always disable when I'm playing the PS1 version? Reviving in battle. Also everything else. Except for dashing, I'll use dashing. Yeah, that's because it's an older game and not having dash is not a good thing. But I definitely keep no reviving in battles on, and I also keep on the ineffective attacks. I don't like ineffective attacks because I think it's really stupid. The idea of it at way back when kind of made sense. It's just to like arbitrarily add strategy to the game because the game doesn't have any actual tactical depth. I mean, it does, especially the later versions that actually add things to it to make it a little bit harder. But uh, the fact, like, just thinking about it logically, someone kills something, the thing's lying there on the ground. The person's not going to sit there and run up and be like, ah, at nothing. I think that's really stupid. I always just imagined it as being just because of how hectic the battles are. Like, maybe both characters are attacking the enemy simultaneously, but only one of the attacks were actually necessary to kill it. Or it could just not even be attacking, it could just be because two characters were both busy with an enemy, the enemy was killed by one of them, and so they need time to kind of reorient and get to their next target. I still feel like they would swing and then immediately move on. I feel like with magic it could kind of make sense though if they have to like preemptively be focused on their target to make their spells like work properly or something. Yeah. Especially with the older versions where it uses slots and things like that. You sit there and attack and the thing dies, but you are still casting the attack at the target as it's falling down. That makes sense. That's fine. I, I, I can see that like one making sense. Or maybe the spell was already f cast and then the enemy was slain by their sword or something. What was through the middle? The middle looked right way-ish, but now this is looking... I don't remember, honestly. I think it might be locked, if I recall, I, I don't remember. But, uh, like, 15 and obviously 16 when it comes out because they kind of look similar. Hack even 7 Remake, where when you attack something, I can definitely understand ineffective attacks there because those are a lot more hectic than the battles in Final Fantasy 1 where it's like, okay, there's, like, because you're swinging your sword really fast and you might swing and just completely miss something because just the way that, like, you're attacking and things like that. Like, those ones just make sense. But I don't, I don't know about, uh, I mean, I'm not sure how it's going to work on 16. I mean, I kind of do. But uh, just due to the nature of how one is and how this game is even, where, like, it's not that magical. I mean, it has magic, but it's not like all your weapons are magical apparitions that appear so ordeal. So many paths. I feel like I'm missing treasures. I don't like missing treasures. It's not that bad. You're not playing the DS version where it actually matters. I don't like missing treasures. This is not like it's it's not like a newer Final Fantasy where you could actually miss like a quest item or something. 
What if I miss like a potion or something? Yay. I would need that potion to replace the 10 potions it took to get to it. Alarm. I excuse my mind. I don't know if you want to use that right now because it might warp you out of the dungeon or something stupid like that. Dry ether or ether dry. Eight years old. Oh, this looks right way. Yeah, that's definitely right way. Tragies. Tragies are my friends, except when they're empty or have crap in them. And <laughs> now I assume we're gonna cut this part out until we get back to that room. Unless we have an interesting conversation along the way. I don't know about that. This is gonna be filled with a lot of battles and we're just gonna be like, eh, just get over there. We've done this battle 50 times already. I know, and it's not even from a treasure chest at this point. We're literally just encountering the ambush battles. What's the point of it even being a like, treasure chest battle if it's just going to be a normal battle? Aren't treasure chest battles supposed to be more challenging? Oh no, it's stuffed. I was going to get extra medical examinations because it doesn't do anything until I punch it. I don't know about the idea of a, like, a big eye. That just seems really weird to me. I'm not talking about just like a bigger eye. I'm talking about like a stuffed eye. That just seems really weird to me. People probably eat that kind of thing because I know people kind of like eat weird stuff. Yeah, Rocky Mountain oysters exist. Yeah, like how people make weird foods and things like that. It makes me wonder if people will like take like the eyes of something and like stuff it with something like like a turkey. Like yeah, you use stuffing. I know some. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who might be into that. That sounds sounds like really weird food. I have a friend whose brother, when they were kids, loved to eat fish eyeballs. And whenever they like brought fish home or caught fish or whatever, he would always just get super hyped and always just claim the eyeball. And then he would just take the eyeball and just eat it. The worst part is, is that uh, when I was younger, uh, my stepdad actually tried to get me to eat eyeballs like that, like fish eyeballs. Because they would go, they would go on the boat a lot and they would like fish. And, uh, <laughs> that just sounds really gross. And, I mean, yeah, I'm like a picky eater and all that. So just like that, I, I, no. <laughs> no. Just no. And here we weren't supposed to have any interesting conversations while we were doing this. It's okay, we can insert it somewhere else that there's dead air. <laughs> That's a good thing about conversations that um, don't match what's going on. You know, originally I, the plan was to skip a lot of the dungeon stuff and just focus on the story, but most of the dungeons would just like be uh, glossed over pretty much because they're not relevant to the translation. But we're always just talking about stuff, so it's like, how am I supposed to cut that out? I mean, you still can. It's just like... I mean, obviously we gotta talk, but you know. Yeah. All right, I swear if it's just a treasure up there. I think this is- Like in that room. Yeah. I just need to make yeah, sure- Yeah, it's the locked room. If it was further back, I wouldn't have, but it's just like a floor away. And there was another door along the way as well that I hadn't checked before, but that just turned out to be a save point. The worst thing is, is that I called that door being locked. I was pretty sure you were right, and like I said, if it was any further back, I just would have left it for locked and moved on, but since it was so close, I was just like, I'm just gonna go check it real quick. I did the exact same thing when I played this game a while back. I'm like, I know this door is locked, but I'm gonna check it anyway. Because you know that's the plot important door, so you try to skip over it and then continue on. Then you see that spot, it's like, oh, this looks like it's gonna like lead to something important. Yeah, also we might actually want to save at this next coming save point. Because I I believe this battle is the really dumb one coming up. Where are you going? Yeah, I, I, I see it. You're not getting it. I know there were paths like on the very first floor that I just skipped, but I was just like, screw it, I'll just check those later if I get the chance since it's on the first floor. The reason I'm, why I'm saying you're not getting it at the moment, because you gotta go to the plot essential area to get to it. Kinda. Oh no, a Ubisaki. <laughs> I thought you said Ubisoft. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what? An Ubisoft. <laughs> That's even worse. Speaking of them, I'm actually really, really curious now. Um, when did they form as a company? 
I was just watching a video of the uh, recent, like earlier today, about what their like very first video game was or something like that. But that has nothing to do with when they formed as a company, because I feel like most video game companies existed before they were video game companies. Oh wow, their first game was, according to this, Trivial Pursuit on the Thompson T08 in 1986. Let's see, they formed in 1986, 34 years ago, uh, March 28th. So they were only games. They were only games, but back then, uh, back then it actually was, uh, split, uh, before Ubisoft became Ubisoft, they were Ubisoft. Um, let me reiterate on that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, um, uh, it's how, how it is now where it's Ubisoft. It was Ubi Space Soft Entertainment. It's not like Nintendo, though, that's existed for like a hundred years. Speaking of that, uh, Nintendo was founded in 1889. Yeah, people tend to forget that, where they actually were a, like a toy company at first. I never knew that until just like two or three years ago, and then I found that out. I'm like, what? They also, uh, way back when, way back when, when they the toy venture wasn't they thought it wasn't lucrative enough. Uh, they were actually trying to get into like the risque industry, like love hotels and things like that. That makes perfect sense given their modern gaming policies. Yeah, could you imagine though? If that like ever got out to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Rubicante wearing every other thing. Annoying. Er Aburna's fence has already stopped using Nanjutsu. <laughs> I will take Luzu. I am so bad that was not an S in the word Luzu. Yeah. It's so funny, this battle right here I, like, never see this one actually, like, brought up in, like, people's videos, like, reviews of this game. Like, I never see footage of this particular part for some reason. He, yeah, yeah, Galvez and also Rubicante. The eagle is the biggest reason. <gasps> the eagle. We heard of the eagle. His grandfather. What? Welcome. Who is there? See, he's an old man, so that makes sense. <laughs> Oops. Kisima, dude! Indefinitely! I'm glad they didn't translate that one. Hydra, Rubicant is not here. I wonder if we can lose to you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Yo, know, that actually goes into something I was thinking of mentioning during this boss fight. I will not do it as a keeper, although it was not absorbed to four Golbez, says Mr. Blaine. Is this Rougie? <laughs> I will protect against the eagles of this Babwil. Do not laugh. <laughs> Ru <laughs> His name got crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate! This Ruggier's son, Soup, got the crack of kiss! Sizz. Sizz. A bell. A bell. And Barnabas! So when I first played the... Uh, the very first time I ever played the Japanese version of this game, just to see, like, the difference in the difficulty and whatnot, this was the first boss in the game that, like, really kicked my ass as a result of the higher difficulty. Yeah. I believe there's an... I might be confusing this, but there's another battle? Oh no, that, Yoshi! like... There's another battle. I don't remember if it's this one or not, but it's, like, very status effect heavy. And I hate it. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like when you hit that battle, even in the English version, that one kind of just kicked your butt. But, uh, just because you're not prepared for that kind of thing. 
Unless you actually are like aware of it coming up. Yeah, I love that this thing just happens to be here. Yeah. Ooh, we're casting Blink. We're getting fancy. Yeah, I'm Quomp. Oh, we're just making sure uh, Quomp doesn't die, I see. <laughs> she got punched, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should do something about that. Now all we have left is defeat a bell. I like how he just admitted to losing to this guy before when I first did the hard version, and then uh, he's just not even doing anything. I know. Now he's an evil mechanic! Oh no! Sid has betrayed us! I... I'm not sure if you're thinking this battle or if you're thinking the other one that I mentioned before. I'm pretty sure it was this one, and I feel like it, that was the case because I always remember this boss being super easy. But then when I got to him on that version, he just kicked my ass just like out of nowhere. I don't know. I, I swear you're probably thinking of another battle that's uh, not now. Like, it's coming up. Not like soon-ish, but... Yeah. Hey, you! Remember the real power of Eagle! Yes, we keep hearing about the Eagle. <laughs> I show you real saucer! <laughs> oh no, a saucer. I do not understand! Yeah. Is this the battle? I can't... Yeah, this is the battle. This is the battle. This is the one that just stinks. It means you just kind of get screwed over by this gas, and if you are not ready for it, it's hard. <laughs> this is the one you're thinking of, not the other one. Well, they're basically the same fight. It's the same fight. He's doing something. Oh no, something. Uh oh, more summon. Did you just cheese the jump? No, I <laughs> was checking my magic. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there, I'm like, did he just cheese the jump by pausing the game? <laughs> Ow. Okay, never mind. Um. Summon means charging, apparently. There's the English battle damage I remember and love. Yay. Even on the people that don't have the fire resistance, it barely did anything. No, he's sick or something. He's <laughs> just asleep. I don't remember what's... To yeah, like, it just... I'm used to disease. Why did Kane not get cured from that? Because he was jumping when I was targeting the group. Okay, that is stupid. Ow. She was fully healed. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that she was in Blink as well. She was in Blink and it's like, Beam will still hit you regardless. This is the only reason this battle is hard, because of all these stupid status effects. And it's not like... It's not like how, like, heck, in the original Final Fantasy, where, like, you have all these things to make it so you don't get hit by the status effects, which I abused greatly. <laughs> yeah. You gotta abuse that shit. Every character has a ribbon? Sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Might as well.
I'm still annoyed by how that how they handle that mechanic and they never changed it at all. It was like, oh hey, you have the ribbons, but it doesn't guard against instant death. You still need to have these other things on as well to guard against that. Which once I got those, I like never removed them. <laughs> because obvious reasons. Yeah, you kinda need them. Ooh. I got a rug eye. Yeah, yeah, I am tying up this bad wheels daichi hen. Crystal has already been sent to Rubicante. The dwarf is a pheasant made by eagle. Yeah. Is he saying that the eagle made the dwarf race and they're only pheasants of the eagles? <laughs> I guess. Dwarves are going to be done. What the heck is Rubiconte up to? Together with a brother. Great. Hi. <laughs> I think you mean Lally Ho. <laughs> it looks like a warp, but it seems to be useless for us. That is the best translated thing I've seen so far. Die, please, today. Just have to wait for dude to attack. Until then, I'm just stalling for time. <laughs> Pretty much. I feel like the bow would do more damage, considering that you're shooting an eye with it. Good job, Quomp. Quomp did it! Her attacks are basically useless until she gets her best weapon. Her damage still sucks, but it can stop enemies, I believe. And then she's slightly less useless. All right, time for key. I opened the key. That's not how keys work. <laughs> That's not how they work. <laughs> I opened the key and inside another key. It's a committee. Wahaha, shine dwarf Futsumo. That's it. Tears. Why are you here? Scarecrow. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're actually goblin cops. Oh, it's easy. They're so useless that I'm not even gonna bother to use aim with Ima. I'm just gonna do a basic attack. <laughs> oh no, Quam's almost dead. <laughs> Shit. I will do it. With this, you can stop fellows. That's useful information. Oops. What a thing. <laughs> yeah, what a thing indeed. Foveway. <laughs> I thought that was Foveway <laughs> talking. <laughs> What? It just seems so perfect, the the response. I thought it was him being like, what do you want? I know. Here I am. Everyone quickly arrives. Wow. We will show you honey, Fubway. <laughs> Sorry. Punch. Fubway's not that strong. Fubway! Tell me the story. My favorite thing to do. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> His favorite story is wanting to die. <laughs> Quick! I want to die, Fubway! Trade places with Kane! He wants to die! <laughs> Fubway! Please! Do not fool me! Fubway! Every time it was fun. Akero Fubway! Ooh! The 3D version actually makes that scene slightly better. Kind of, because he kicks everybody out the door. It's still a lot funnier, but you know. Fubway! At least I believe he kicks everyone out the door, I don't remember. I think he, like, roundhouse kicks him. I have not broken. 
Blum, blum, blum. Teleport. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, wait. I think it doesn't work because of story related reasons. I think you have to start walking out and then something happens. And then Fubway died. And if you're here with us, you probably already know that's bullshit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wonder if anybody actually plays this game uh, by uh, keeping dude in the back row with arrows just so he can protect everybody uh, with that d boosted defense from the back row. I don't know. It'd be kind of a weird thing to do, but... Yeah, then you could put Rydia in the front. And then she could do 10 more damage with her whip. And then die. Cecil wouldn't even be able to protect her because she would just die in one hit. Like she does anyway. He's not doing that, like, at all, by the way. It's like, every time she's about to die, that's because she has so little health that I guess the, like, the cover just doesn't work. That's because she has to be, like, under 100 hit points for her to be near death. So she just dies before she's weakened enough for cover to automatically trigger. So you'd have to actively be using it yourself, which I never do. And the funny thing was, I was sitting here for a moment. I'm like, man, how do the speedrunners get around this uh, part with their step pathing or whatever? Like, the how they make it so they never get into any battles unless they really want to sort of the deal. And then I'm like, wait a minute. They never touch this dungeon. <laughs> he just wants to get to the dwarf castle. <laughs> They're pretty much done, like, exploring the game proper. You know how that works, right? No. I know you've brought it up before. Oh, yeah, yeah. The stairs in the dwarf castle, for some reason, when you go up and down them, I don't know how, like, I don't think it, like, tracks you going down, depending on, like, what you're doing or something. So you basically can keep going up and up and up and basically overflow the game. And then, like, you just start doing weird stuff with it. I don't know why specifically there, but I think there's something that you do to trigger it. I don't remember. But during normal play, you will probably never see it. Because there's no, there's no reason to do that. It will be fun. Gobez, does your lizard have a life of rice crackers? <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when do we have a lizard? <laughs> Play has done so far. It is about time to go on upset. Farewell. How does Gobez know about my lizard? Run! We. How oh, convenient. It was just barely safe. Robber! This song sounded weird at first. How was Fovway? That is. Hold out the crusade. <laughs> Okay, Fubway. Got you! What is that Menta? Now he knows how we feel. <laughs> Strong Mist, it is Quam. Oh, I got it. Oh, really? <laughs> Apparently that explained everything. Do you want to have fun? <laughs> this one is supposed to be the girls. It seems the guys also wrote the Red Wings. I don't think we've learned who the Red Wings are yet, according to this translation. <laughs> I'm getting over there. Furrying. Enterprise. That tower looked so weird in Mode 7 there. <laughs> Engines are getting on, pleasant dude! Raba! Where to? When the Enterprise is on short notice, it fills the venue off obliviously. <laughs> Raba, unto you! Huh, I wanted to get caught between Ima and... <laughs> Dude, but as long as Fubway is lonely... You guard against the Eagles of Baron. 
Raba! Grab! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a plot twist. <laughs> The best part about that was is that this is not going to get caught on the recording at all. But all I heard was, Raba! <laughs> <laughs> Because of how Discord handle is going too loud. Yeah. At, la uh, at least your uncle. Sure, hurry up to Baron. My god. Distinct direction. The dumbest death. Gobez, hiking eyes, Raba, Mashiba of the railway. I like how he disappears before the explosion happens. This works. Raba! Why, everyone? How do you... always hurry? To Baron. Puzzle. Yay, direction! <laughs> the game actually told us where to go. Alright, so, to Baron- wow. Well. <laughs> That's really not that far <laughs> off. I forgot I was like right this there. This game has a very small world map. I know. It's like too barren. Too bad. Oh. Plays plays epic plays epic music. Do 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 do. Oh, oh. we're there. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're there already. Hey everybody! Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to do all the YouTube things. And if you want to see more Google Translated madness, then be sure to go check out Azure Brian's channel, where he and I played through Super Mario RPG Google Translated. See you next time!